The Royal Free London NHS Foundation Trust is London's biggest cancer treatment provider and we know how tough the pandemic has been on patients with cancer and their families. That's why we're launching our winter appeal so that the Royal Free Charity, together with you, can help bring the future forward for cancer patients. We want to fund new innovative healthcare solutions so that patients with cancer can have access to faster and less invasive treatments. We want to detect cancer faster in higher risk patients and we want to help those going through chemotherapy cope with the trauma of the experience using the latest virtual reality technology. I want to introduce you to the amazing staff in our hospitals who are leading these projects so that you can hear about why they're so vital. Thoracoscopy is a well-established uh, method of uh, doctors being able to look inside the chest cavity of patients. So there's a potential space outside the lung but inside the rib cage. And in many patients with cancer, predominantly lung cancer, but many other types of cancer as well, fluid and, and tumour can build up in that space. Medical thoracoscopy allows us to uh, look directly into that space and take large volume biopsies from there and also to help stick the outside of the lung into the inside of the rib cage. This relieves breathlessness for patients. It means that we get accurate diagnoses from big biopsies uh, and a faster pathway for patients. Lung cancer is an incredibly common cancer and unfortunately it's the biggest cancer killer of all across the world, in the UK and in particular in our region as well. Anything that we can do that speeds up the diagnostic process for these patients and enables them to have a better quality of life is going to be a big step change for us. We already have the second highest one year survival of uh, from lung cancer in all of England and Wales. What we would like to do is to speed up our pathway instead of patients having all of their diagnostic tests completed within four weeks after they see a consultant for the first time, we instead have all their diagnostic tests on, done on the same day and allow them to come back one week later for the results, allowing a quicker referral on to surgeons or oncologists or anyone else for their onward treatment. Contrast and heart tomography makes use of intravenous contrast that we use in the CT scans that uh, patients currently undergo. And the reason why it's so great is because contrast and heart tomography helps light up the breast cancer. Indeed, there has been a recent study that has demonstrated that conventional digital mammography picked up about 85% of the cancers. Contrast and heart tomography picked up 93.8% of those cancers. So there's a definite patient, uh, patient benefit. Not only that, unfortunately, with the pandemic, we have had delayed presentations of breast cancer, and it's really important to detect every single breast cancer that we can. If contrast and heart tomography helps with that, then that would be of great benefit to patients. Virtual reality, often referred to as VR, is a a uh, computer simulated environment that transports the user to a completely different setting than the one that they're actually in. So you put on a headset and you could be on the beach, you could be swimming in the sea, you could take a walk in the forest, you could be shooting zombies if you if that's what you're in the mood for. So it's a variety of immersive experiences that you experience in a virtual environment. So we're looking to deploy VR to chemotherapy patients uh, to basically improve their well-being. There's a variety of research to show that it not only decreases the time, decreases how, it, how long it feels that the patient is sat receiving chemotherapy, um, but it also improves well-being and has the potential to reduce uh, chemotherapy-induced vomiting and nausea. We hope that by giving the patients the option to have these VR headsets during their uh, treatments is one small yet really impactful measure in improving their well-being as well. We can only fund these projects with your help.